All right, so recently Sourcefire acquired Immunet. If you don't know what's Immunet, it's one of those cloud AVs that works with Clam Engine. Never really was too impressive for me. Um, kind of had pretty poor signatures and no zero day protection whatsoever. But um, now it's acquired by Sourcefire, which means they're now under Cisco. And uh, if you don't know, Cisco is a really big um, you know, networking company. They do all sorts of things. So I decided to revisit this product one more time to see if it's changed. I noticed the interface is still quite similar and quite crappy. Honestly, not a big fan. This looks fairly outdated, but I did see a big change in terms of how the AV engine worked. So I'm here to demonstrate that. So what I did first is I grabbed a few test samples and um, these are like um, the regular samples you see in most of my tests. They're fairly moderate to high detection ratio samples, so we expect high detection ratios with these. I just grabbed a few of them. We didn't have a whole lot, just 59 items, but I decided to just drag that folder in and see how Immunet would react, and I was quite pleasantly surprised. And as you can see, within a few moments, the folder is empty. So not only did it detect all those 59 samples, it also quarantined them very quickly, which is what really impressed me. So the AV engine seems to have become quite a bit more responsive and it's working really well in terms of optimization. It obviously also depends on your internet because this is a cloud product, but I'm still quite impressed with the scan speed. I mean, I've seen a lot of internet-based products like Panda really suck when it comes to detecting and removing threats, but Immunet seems to be working very well in that department. So after this quick test, I decided to go ahead and drag my entire malware folder, which consists of uh, a thousand items. Now this is the same sample folder I used for testing the TPSC challenge combination. So these are a little bit harder to detect samples. There are a lot of PUPs in there. Sophos did not manage a very good detection ratio with these, so that should give you an idea. But surprisingly, once again, Immunet manages to get a lot of these files. Now just to speed up the process, I am going to perform a scan, but as you can see, it's removing items already. We'll just go ahead and do a custom scan to make this process a bit quicker. And here's another thing you'll notice is um, the scan speeds are quite impressive in themselves. Some products just uh, glitch out when I'm trying to do a scan while the real-time protection is running, but Immunet seems to be doing it fairly well. As you can see, the scan speeds are quite amazing. And we're done. So that was really quick. And we're just left with 297 items. Now this is already a better detection ratio than what Sophos managed a few days ago, I would say. Of course, um, we expect detection ratios to increase, but I would still argue that this detection ratio for Immunet is uh, well above uh, my expectations. It's somewhere over 70%, probably. So why am I making a dedicated video about this? The reason I felt that I should inform you guys about this particular product is that this can work with other AV products as well, at least they claim so. And given that it's so responsive and so quick in deleting threats and it doesn't seem to be very heavy on the system, it's taking up minimum resources, working really fast, and the engine seems very optimized, it might be a very good product to run as a second opinion scanner. So for those of you who just want second opinion real-time protection running, this could be something to check out. Of course, it's totally free, so you can do so right now. And I think it's going to be interesting to see how this product shapes up under Cisco. So I hope you enjoyed this really quick video. Um, give me some feedback. Do you guys really want to see all these updates of these little tests that I do every now and then and uh, know my thoughts on every single product? Usually I wait and I you know, script out a full review and that's the only thing you guys get to see. But I think it'll be more useful if I give out these little bits of information as soon as they come out so that you can stay up to date and uh, find out what's best for your particular system because uh, it's not always as simple as choosing one product. 
So let me know your thoughts. I'll have a poll on this video if you want to see more quick updates like this. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.